prove this inequality given that x, y, z equals 1, x, y, z are real numbers. We can see that the left hand side of the inequality is the sum of three squares. We let x over x minus one equal a y over y minus one equal b z over z minus one equal c. By rearranging, we can now write x equals a x minus a. So a minus one times x equals a. So x equals a over a minus one. Similarly, y equals b over b minus one. That equals c over c minus one. Because x, y, that equals one. So a over a minus one times b over b minus one times c over c minus one equals one. So a, b, c equals a minus one times b minus one times c minus one. By expanding, we can now write equals a, b, c minus a, b minus b, c minus c, a plus a plus b plus c minus one. a, b, c on the left hand side of the equation and start on the right hand side of the equation. Cancel. So a plus b plus c minus 1 equals ab plus bc plus ca. We know that a squared plus b squared plus c squared can be written as a plus b plus c or squared minus 2 times ab plus bc plus ca. From here, we know that ab plus bc plus ca equals a plus b plus c minus 1. Minus 2 times minus 1 is 2, which can be written as 1 plus 1. The first three terms can be written as a plus b plus c minus 1 or squared, which is greater than or equal to 0. So we can now write it's greater than or equal to 1. Now we substitute a equals x over x minus 1, b equals y over y minus 1, c equals z over z minus 1 in this inequality. So we can now write x squared over x minus 1 or squared plus y squared over y minus 1 or squared plus z squared over z minus 1 or squared is greater than or equal to 1. The proof is now complete.